Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Graves Jungle. We're going to be testing out some lethality builds today because I am seeing a lot of people say that they are the optimal build on the current patch. Now, I had been thinking that the optimal build is probably the Bruiser build um, and I need to test that, right? So, people are suggesting these are the optimal builds. I'm going to test it out, tell you guys what I think and what I'd recommend to you guys at the end of the video. Now, I will always preface that, that I do always think that the lethality builds do scale with your game knowledge and also your, you know, skill as a Graves player. Um, so, with all this being said, you're probably still going to want to be relatively well versed on Graves before you start picking up the lethality builds compared to something like the Bruise or Crit builds. So this game we're doing red into raptors into krugs and then we're going to go for the level three bot gank the reason for this is because enemy is going to be very aggressive with their lane um tristana is always super aggressive going to be jumping forward level two my player's about to get level two here oh really you're actually joking that i fucked that up eh Wow, oh, I could have flashed the Lux Q though. I just didn't think it was going to hit me. I should have flashed Lux Q though in hindsight. Just on, just recalling here on the wall. Oh, you're joking, man. Do I get this? I think I do. Give me a... Woof. There we got it. Uh, pretty sloppy by me. I'm not going to lie, guys. That was a pretty sloppy set of ganks, etc. Um, could have been done much better. All right. I'm going to recall here, pick up my Dirk and boost and go top side. Uh, there's the Dirk being chilling top side now via she was playing well she would have invaded these top side camps and taken them that's why I was not too much uh, not too worried part of me for the recall there I'd rather take the recall and just potentially not uh die to her as I walk in my jungle or anything crazy my top has to be super careful here okay and you can see my raptors are gone so more than likely everything's gone here now, did she take the crab? She just took the crab, so she's probably around top right now, or she might be on her red now. I think she's making a huge mistake if she's not ganking top here, um, which looks to be the case. So I'd say she's on her red right now. This guy keeping back? He is. Okay. So here I'm going to look for Vi's Krugs, which I believe will be up. Oh, there she is. She's on the Krugs, unfortunately, as we speak. Okay, nice. Chunking her out a little bit here. Now, I do know Yorick's coming, but that's okay with me because Yorick's going to be missing out on Golden XP if he comes too far towards me. So I'm chilling. Okay. Nice, that's really good. We're uh, using up all of these wall jumps here. I'm actually gonna see if I can just like stop him with a random W. Hopefully he's just like recalling over the wall and that stops him. I know that's a bit of a like, be a bit lucky if that happened, but you know, why not hope for that? Holy shit, kinda hurt. Nice. Okay, so we got the wolf there, which was all that really mattered to us. So everything's kinda chill. I'm just gonna jump over the wall here and take our camps now. A lot of skirmishing going on bot lane, a lot of kills happening, etc. I'm gonna take my camp here first. Oh no. Okay. 
thought that was going to turn out much differently. Alright, we're going to pick up the red here, guys, and then... We're either going to look to hover for a bot gank or we'll take our reset and go towards our, um... We might actually just, like, reset by mythic and then run straight back bot if we do reset. But I think that this enemy bot is just going to go ape mode once again and I can just pick up a kill here. Shit, I shouldn't have blast planted here. Pretty good so far. I'll take the reset here. We just need to be a little bit careful of Vi. Don't exactly know where she is. Um, but I don't feel like she's super far away, that's for sure. Alright, so this game we're going for something a little bit spicy, the Prowler's Claw. Now, basically the way you're thinking about this Prowler's Claw is you're not so much thinking about it for the dash, you're also thinking about it for just the overall lethality. So if you think they're going to be squishier or you're going to be snowballing super, super hard, you can pick up this. Another option you can go if you want to really, um, you know, make the game tempo a lot higher is pick up the Yomus. Oh, I want to fight this chick so bad. Really? Take me with her? I'm so sad. She'll be on those uh, raptors here. I'm gonna quickly see if I can take this herald. Alright, I don't mind sieging here. Thought I might actually be able to coax Talon and staying by dropping the Herald. Anyway, that turned out to be the wrong um, thought process there. You can see that Vi's Raptors are still up. I'm just constantly checking this to see if she's actually there. Alright, so I have found the Vi now, she's mid. Would have loved it if my player could have hit that. Could have just rinsed that Vi. Okay, I just got rinsed, what the hell? It was just, uh... What the hell? I guess I'm just not that tanky with this build. Uh, this is my first time playing the Lethality build, so it could be a little bit uh, rusty. I feel like I was more squishy than I expected. I mean, normally I guess at this point I'd have Black Cleaver, right? So, yeah, it changes things up a lot. All right, a little adjustment I need to make to my gameplay. Oh no, what the fuck was that? Oh no shot. Holy fuck, get me the fuck out of here. In here, surely. Eep. Oh, 
All right, not the worst thing in the world. I'm really struggling with these, uh, plays, but... Any Morgana Q on this would be fucking sweet. What the hell? It's a Morgana Q at. Okay. Maybe I didn't ping enough to control my apes or something? I don't know. Hmm. That sucks. Maybe this enemy team is just like smurfing or something, honestly. For fuck's sake, man. These guys just stop dying so I can stop going to have to fix their problems. Every time they're just getting solo killed and I have to go down and fix their problems. And they still have so many resources too, man. Yuck. I wouldn't even have that. I just got hit by a wild. Oh, one Vaki. That's the only thing I could have done differently. Like, what? Pain, man. Pain. Why well, such a good champion to shut me down to? Like, even though she's not strong here at all, she's still able to shut me down. Oh, they both have ult. So if I had ult again after the bot lane play. Oh. Never. I mean, I guess she probably should, maybe. I don't know, I didn't really think so. I didn't think she had that much uh, ability haste. She just has Divine Sundra. Maybe she has uh, Ultimate Hunter. I have to pick up Black Cleaver, I guess, after Yomo's. Maybe this is just a bad game for Lality, or I'm just not playing safe enough, I don't know. Either way, it's not going ideally. That again, mid. <laughs> Okay, not on that road. Oh my goodness, what? Ah, because they have vision, man. I need to fucking mind control this thing. Stop dying when I'm not around. So we can like, contest vision and stuff. I 
guide is muted, but still needs to follow me. Why oh, is it so super useless? Um. Ah, this fucking freak, man. I thought she's going to grief the game. There you go. Nice. I'm gonna clear the vision because I don't have the stupid stop. I don't have sweeper. Actually, water top side. This feels like such a stressful game for no reason. Yeah, I was not paying attention, just running down the lane. Are we typing? Most of the time, people die like that. I think they're typing, not lagging. Because if they instantly turn around once they start getting hit, they're not normally lagging. Fucking auto. Our oh, base. A black cleaver. This feels like such a stressful game, man. Need to continue trying to micromanage myself. Hey, okay, is she going to come? Or is she going to grief more? That looks like she wants to grief more. They're not here, man. So ignorant. 
What do we do? Okay, she's pinked it. See, you guys, controlling your apes does work. Told you guys. Actually, I base here and just go prep this drag. Need Dirk. Ah, uh, shit, man. Here we go. There it is. All right, guys, we've managed to carry it despite this game looks like an absolute tragedy. In all honesty, like we didn't play the best this game. Um, some of these bot skirmishes we like could have done better at the same time well, it's not the easiest uh, situation to do better in we die our teammates constantly dying before we can uh, even be anywhere near ganking them Why is this fucker just AFK pushing bot? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Supports, man. Bloody wanted it. Nice, I can kill. Nice, there we go. I can probably turn on this chat now without being tilted out of my mind. Oh shit. Ah, oh, you're joking. Nice, we managed to do it. Did you play it? All right, guys, I'll quickly show you guys the runes here in a second. Probably honor this guy. I don't know who to honor, really. Show you guys the runes here quickly. Um, look at the damage charts, Jesus Christ. Here's the uh, runes. I think it was pretty much optimal here. I don't think we would change anything out. It wouldn't even go keep the grace. Uh, for the build, maybe I would have uh, switched out my second, uh, maybe my first item for Yomos and just swapped that around, I think. I'm going to test some more lethality graves though and just see what I can figure out there in terms of uh, what my most, what part of me might be the most optimal build. I do like the Black Cleaver on lethality graves though. I think it's quite nice. 
um, but also Sorelda's and Mortal are going to be really good. It's just this game, they didn't really have that much healing, so I didn't need Mortal, and uh, I probably would have got a Sorelda's plus the Black Cleave, so last item probably would have been Sorelda's Crouch here. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you want to get one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can check that out at coachmarga.com. Till next time, guys, take care. Peace.